What's up everybody? This is Chris coming back at you today with another video and it's been a little while since I've put up a video but I am doing something today that I have been wanting to do for quite a while and that is to show you my janky dirty hotel room. Just kidding. So I am showing you right now the proverbial before picture of what my hotel room looks like before I pack it in to my um, Manal carry-on bag for my uh, an example this one uh, sort of a work example if you will of how I do my one bag travel system uh, as you can see I have stuff all spread out right now I am planning to leave uh, Atlanta, Georgia in the afternoon tomorrow to head back home and I am getting ready to pack all this gear up into this lovely bag right here the, the uh, much much loved Manal Carry On 1.0 which I purchased um, second hand on eBay and I'm very happy with I am getting, re getting ready to pack all of this up put it in the bag and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about my work one bag travel system, which really is the same for whatever, aside from that uh, suit jacket that I have um, and a couple of other things that I have to bring for work that I wouldn't otherwise bring uh, for uh, a trip for pleasure. But for the most part, it's just my one bag, single bag travel system which I have uh, now been experimenting with for my last probably three or four trips um, where I've had to fly. So with that, we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna come right back after the break and show you the after. All right guys, before we uh, jump into the fully packed bag uh, portion of this video, I wanted to walk through very quickly the Manal Carry On uh, 1.0, which is the bag that I have chosen for my single bag travel adventures. Uh, the Manal is a 35 liter bag. It seems really small. I mean, when you get it, you're like, holy goodness, am I really gonna be able to fit all my clothes as well as toiletries and an extra pair of shoes or whatever into this bag? So it is, you know, a tight squeeze. But the way it's laid out, the way it's organized, I have found it to be super um, effective uh, with the use of space. There is very little wasted space in this bag. There are not corners in it like a traditional suitcase. So the bag sort of molds over whatever you have in it and uh, just does uh, a great job. I will say, if you have pets, this thing particularly the bottom is like a hair magnet so if you have shedding pets um, get your get your lint rollers out because I know you got them so uh, so let's look through it quickly so quickly the Manal has two front sort of quick access pockets uh, this one obviously a smaller one good for like a cell phone case this one has oh, there's a little lint roller thing right there actually this one has a small zippered pouch inside of it so you can get stuff really flush up against the top there and then this pouch right behind it which sort of uh, shares space with it is a, a bigger one that goes down you know to the to the seam here so this seam does have a little bit of dimension to it as you can see that right there there's like a couple inches of dimension um, so these these are useful pockets um, Particularly if you only have one bag, they're useful to have sort of your, uh, your quick access stuff in it. Um, so yeah, so those are the two front pockets. It also has a water bottle pocket. This is where they made some really nice updates to this pocket with the 2.0, the Manal. They've come out with the 2.0, which is almost the exact bag aside from a few key updates. But this is the 1.0, but there's a little string here that you can keep your water bottle um, sort of zip down so it doesn't fall out but it's it's a nice pocket it's fine uh, and then there is not one on this side because there is a zipper for the laptop on that side so you do have a really nice carry handle on this side 
as well as two, one of two compression straps. You can compress and yank it down. I don't really use these that much because the bag is not, it's very streamlined. I mean, as you can see, this thing is streamlined and slim. Super sort of floppy when you're not using it. But when it's packed out, you'll see, you know, why I, I like it so much. So when you pull it open, this whole thing clamshells and you have basically a flat, this side is flat with no dimension, basically. So you get like a quarter of an inch dimension, just big enough for the zippers to go around. So all of the dimension is in the lid, essentially. So if you see how that lid folds out, I mean, it really, you can really push it out. It's Cordura, it's 100% Cordura fabric. Uh, it's very strong, very well built, very well made. And as you know, uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I love to check the seams and the, 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 the sewing and everything. And these, these are very, very well done. Uh, so it's an interesting laid out bag in that, um, you know, the folks from Manasa, you can actually pack the lid and then flip over the um, sort of the core of the bag over top of the lid. I have found it a little difficult to do that. I think it's better to just sort of stack things here and then pull this over and, uh, you know, utilize that that way. But however you do it, um, as you can see, I mean, it does get a little puffy when you pull it out and you'll see it when it's fully packed. So I wanted to show you uh, that. And it also has... In the back here, a tech compartment, which I've already unzipped because I have a hard time unzippering things on this channel with one hand. Um, the back tech compartment has a laptop sleeve, a tablet sleeve. This is the other main thing they updated in the 2.0 was this laptop sleeve is a really cool like suspension system. But even though this is the 1.0, the laptop sleeve is still very nice. As you can see there, it's suspended on all sides. There's some nice space down there where you can slide your charger and a couple other things. And then there's some organization here. There's a zipper pocket here that goes down, you know, about, you know, to the seam where my thumb is. And then you have a couple of card slots, a slot for either a phone or a, you know, a backup battery. A couple of pen slots back there. And then there's this weird, like, sideways pocket, which I think is meant for your passport where, like, you can sort of slide it in there or like a you know field notes or something i don't really use this organization because it, it bulges too much onto my laptop i will put things back here but i tend to use my um my own modular packing systems if you've watched any of my edc videos my edc bag videos you know that i pack in sort of a modular style so I just, I don't use these zipper pockets either because there's no dimension to them. There's there's two, one mesh, one sort of nylon full. So I leave all that stuff empty because I like it to be flat so I can put my own pouches and stuff in here. So that is it for the bag. It's simple as heck, but awesome. Um, the back can, um, so there, uh, let me, I'll show you this. There are nice load lifters here on these straps. The handle's great. It's like got some, some cushion to it, but it's not too much. It's super nice. These are like gatekeeper clips. Uh, so you can undo these and uh, the straps will go down. And then there's a little rolly thing right here, a flap. And if you've seen any Manal videos, you've probably seen this. This is a flap that unrolls and zips around right here. So you can zip away these straps. So if you had to stow the bag, or if you had to carry it like a briefcase or whatever, if you if you did end up checking this, you could uh, hide the straps so they're not catching everywhere. Um, but the straps are nice. They're they're slim. You know, I was expecting a little heftier straps. They are slim, but they do the job. I carried this thing in New Orleans for quite a while and uh, really didn't have any trouble with it. And I'm not a very big guy. So also this uh, this is the coolest thing ever. The uh, sternum strap has a little garage there where if you're not using it you know you just pop it in the, the g-rage and let it go there it's also got a nice little safety whistle on it so the back panel it's like this uh hard foam this isn't like a soft foam this is like a molded foam with a little manal as you can perceive there a little bit a little manal fox so very cool very cool 
So I also want to show you this. I'm going to step around here and show you this Eagle Creek packable backpack. I have this out right now because I had I uh, took a walk uh, after work today around uh, the Buckhead area of Atlanta. And I, this thing packs up so small, you'll see it when I'm done packing. This Eagle Creek bag, really nice. Has no padding, no nothing. Um, the, sh the straps actually have a tiny little bit of padding. But this thing is super comfortable. It works super well. You know, obviously with these packable bags, everything sort of falls to the bottom, which does happen in this bag, but there's a front pocket. And if you pack it a little bit strategically, if you put like a sweater at the bottom and a couple things up top or vice versa, it looks fine. So this I also use uh, the last couple trips I've been on as like my casual day bag because I'm doing the single bag travel and it's been awesome. Moving on. So here I am talking about single bag travel and I have three bags. So this I had to bring for this trip because for my work when I meet with clients I usually have to bring them a folder and a little brochures and some some swag as we call it and I just could not fit five or six folders filled with swag and a couple other work specific things in the Manal bag so I did bring this bag but honestly having done it with a rolly bag as well as with um, the Manal Carrying that thing on my bag or on my back and then just having this in my hand as I'm walking was super easy. I think it was even easier than trying to do the rolly bag with this one slipped over it, even though it has a, a wheelie slip uh, on the back for a wheelie bag. Check out my review on this, uh, Tom Ben Pilot, if you haven't seen it. But so I don't want you to think I'm a total poser. If this was a pure pleasure trip, I would not have brought this bag. But I did have to bring it, but I'm still going to show you the single bag travel method with the Manal as it would be for the vast majority of people who are traveling for pleasure. And finally, before we get to the packed bag, I'm going to be using two uh, just Lewis and Clark uh, packing cubes that are the um, compressible ones. Here you can see it's unzipped, but this will compress down. So that will be the, I'm using two packing cubes along with the toiletry kit. Uh, a couple, I have two pairs of shoes with me, one I'll be wearing of course. I have a pair of Bose uh, QC35s which are right here, I'll be bringing that. And we're gonna pack it all up and put it in the bag. See ya. Alright guys, here we have it, the finished product. So instead of uh, trying to make a fool out of myself and zipping this thing with one hand uh, to show you how it fits I figured that I would zip it off camera using both opposable thumbs and both hands and then unzip it on camera which should be a little easier and show you how things are in there so I will not lie to you and tell you that this thing is not uh, packed to the gills as you can see laptop compartment main compartment Quick access, quick access. I'd really love how those zippers sort of all live at the top there. As you can see here, the laptop compartment um, doesn't zip down the second side here. It's sort of an L shape. Um, so this, this side is sort of clean. We didn't really see this side on the, um, the first time. So let's, let's clip this. As you can tell, these buckles are super nice. You can clip that. Boom, get it uh, cinched down a little bit there. We'll flip it over. Ooh. You can see the handle here, water bottle pocket here. The, the compression straps are changed a little bit on the Manal 2.0 and they've updated them so they're sort of out of the way when you don't need them, which is really nice. But let's clip those, cinch there. So that's all cinched up. Ooh. Let's look at the back. Very nice, very nice. We'll get that done. And let me put it on for you really quickly and we'll check it out in the mirror. So that's what I'm wearing tomorrow right there. It's the sort of almost empty Tom Ben bag, my hat, a couple other little uh, EDC items that I will be carrying. Ugh. So pardon my sort of white t-shirt and everything, but 
this is the bag, okay? I am only about five foot five, five foot six. So it looks big. Excuse me. Let's see if you can get a decent shot there. But for for uh, I mean honestly for 35 liters on your back, you know, both hands free. Ugh, this thing is not that big and it's not that heavy, you know. I can bounce around with it. If my arms are free, I could uh, attach the sternum strap easily like this, which will take some weight. I don't have the hip straps. I do have some that you can uh, purchase, I believe, as like accessories, but I don't have those. So anyway, that's what the bag looks like. Let's take it off, swing around here, and then we will open it up really quickly. I know this video is getting long. But this is a full system here of single bag travel. Let's get these out of the way. Pull this guy in here. I'll show you a little bit of the magic. So quick access. Cell phone case. This is my extra thing for my little flint uh, lint roller. That's it for now. Again, there's a couple small EDC items that I didn't throw in here just for the purpose of uh, demonstration. This is my little Tom Bin clip with my flashlight, a little bigger flashlight, a little cash stash, microfiber cloth, that's that second pocket. That is good. Let's unclip, unclip the other side, and let's sort of unleash it. So as you can see from the top here, these are lockable if you needed to lock them. Nice zipper pulls. The one thing that this bag was missing when I bought it used was um, one zipper pull. Let me show you that. So there was one zipper pull that had fallen off when I bought this bag used. So I put on, if it will zoom, I put on a little Tom Bin pull. But that's not going to zoom for me right now. But as you can see, so that's one mod I had to do this bag when I bought it used off of eBay. But, you know, this thing's packed out. Let me say this. This thing's packed out, but the reason you buy a bag... It's $300 with YKK number 10 weatherproof zippers is because you want to be able to crank on them and not be terrified that they're going to break. They may break one day, but you know, the reason why this bag costs what it does, I did not pay that on the secondary market, of course, but the reason it costs what it does is because of that reason. The materials will last uh, and you can, you can use this thing. It's hard use, you know. That's what they're made for. So, anywho, as you, as we saw before, this flap is just fabric. So when we unflap, there we go. Now my shoe sort of fell off here. When I came here uh, two days ago, I was wearing my really flat packable Toms. But tomorrow, I don't have any meetings before my flight, so I plan on wearing my Toms. So I even packed these relatively tall vintage uh, sneaker or sneakers vintage brown leather dress shoes from Etsy uh, from a great little secondhand shop in the bottom here so that's the shoes toss those in the flap this is my slim um, Eagle Creek toiletry kit nothing fancy these are the bows PC35s Good thing they come with a hard case. I likely um, will take these out and I might throw this case into my um, little Tom Bin bag on the way home, but probably not. Honestly. So now the two main packing cubes. This packing cube, as you can see, these have a, an opening zipper and a compression zipper. This one has this little gap bag has some dirty clothes in it. It has, I think, four t-shirts. Um, two pairs of uh, undergarments, three pairs of socks, and maybe a couple other little things uh, in there. This has a suit jacket, which I did not think was going to fit in there. Let me prove that to you. Suit jacket right there. You can see sort of the weird shoulder. Suit jacket, three dress shirts, three pairs of dress pants, three ties. All in there. Very compact little package. They're sort of folded in an effective way, so they won't be super wrinkly. I do have a little thing of um, 
downy wrinkle release that I carry with me everywhere I go. So I come into my hotel room, hang them up, do the wrinkle release. If I really need to, to tap them with an iron, I can do that. But these will be fine. Um, so that is what is in this packing cube. Packing cube. This one's a little bit more of sort of a ball right now uh, because of that dirty clothes bag. So that's that part. So that's the entire main section. Clothes, clothes, toiletries, shoes, headphones, which are a luxury item that honestly I don't need because as you may have seen in the mirror, I'm wearing a pair of wireless earbuds right now, which would be just fine. So let me unpack the back. So here's where we get into this section. So this is your tech compartment. In here, if you've seen any of my EDC videos, which I suggest you watch, there's my tech, my little tech module. This is my little personal dock, uh, which you might think is redundant with my travel dock, but really there's some things in here that I've taken out of that case. Um, so I don't have too many duplicates, only a, only a few things. Um, this is more, obviously, toothbrushes, shampoos, conditioners, that kind of stuff. This is the Eagle Creek. As you can see, it's about the size of my hand. It packs super thin, so that's that packable day pack. There are like matador ones that pack into tiny little balls, I know that. But this one, Eagle Creek's a re re reputable, respected brand. This one was, I think, $25 or $30 on Amazon. I like their stuff, I like the look of this. And it, it has just a little bit, I feel like a little bit more um, of an aesthetic than that sort of super slicky, like ripstop material that those matador bags are filled up. Uh, so let's tuck back in here. This is my Tombin cubelet with my charger for my 13 inch MacBook Pro. That's it guys. That's everything that I packed into my single bag travel system. Thanks for sticking with me. It's the stuff that I like channel.